I hate the BCS. Uh, doesn't everyone? I mean, lesson learned for Texas here. If you're gonna lose, lose early. Uh, Oklahoma lost early to Texas. Uh, Texas lost early enough to uh, Tech because they're in a BCS bowl. Tech's probably gonna go to the Cotton Bowl. What a way to mess up such a great season, I think. If there wasn't a BCS, I mean, yeah, there would still be those good ball games at the end of the year, but two, I think the, B, the BCS is stupid, only allowing two teams from one conference to uh, play in a BCS bowl game, or uh, play in any of the four BCS bowl games, I mean, I mean, there's a reason uh, Boise State and Utah are in a non-BCS conference non-BCS conference, meaning you're not supposed to go to a BCS game. You played nobody. I'm sorry. Y'all just aren't that good. I mean, Boise State, y'all y'all beat Oklahoma in 07, which I don't like Oklahoma, so way to go, Boise State. Good job. But Utah, I hate y'all. Y'all have one miracle season, and y'all think y'all are the greatest. I know Tech fans did that, too. We have one good season, and we think we're good. But we've been good all all those years. It's just we haven't we haven't risen up to the occasion to beat uh, teams like Texas. We we haven't won the big games in other words. So this was the year that they rose up. But Utah, I mean, they're just not good enough for a BCS game in my opinion. I mean, they haven't. I think their toughest game was BYU at home. So. I don't know the BCS. I hope there's a playoff next year not involving the BCS. Uh, that would be amazing. So I don't know if this is going to be a very long video, probably about three minutes. But in tech news, Michael Crabtree is staying for next year instead of going pro. Uh, so maybe he'll uh, have as good a year next year as he did this year and the year before this. Uh, Mike Lee. Hopefully he stays. I mean, I would stay with a $12.1 million contract. Uh, if he leaves, I don't know what Tech's going to do. They'll probably just go back to their 8-14, and 14, not beating Texas, not beating Oklahoma, and losing a couple more games. But I don't know what their offense would be like. I mean, they'd throw, but not as much as Michael Lee Chapman throw. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... I don't know, hopefully Mike Leach stays, Crabtree staying, Graham Harrell is gone, Eric Morris is gone, Edward Britton is gone, uh, their whole offensive line is gone, some of their great defensive backs are gone, Charbonnet, uh, dang, I can't think of any more, but I know Charbonnet is leaving, he's good, uh, I think Jabar Wall, Jamar Wall is a senior, so he's gone. Shannon Woods is gone. We still got Baron Badge, who's a beast. Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see how next year unfolds. Hopefully, it'll uh, be just as good as last year. All right. More yelling at the BCS for right now. Uh, USC. Ooh, you beat Cal by twenty or uh, UCLA by twenty one points. Good for you. They're four and set. They're four and seven for a reason. They're not that good. And Pete Carroll, what what is wrong with you? Yeah, we're we're good enough to take a fifteen yard penalty and lose a timeout before each half because we want to wear our red jerseys. What is that all about? Just wear your white ones and get over it. Or, no, we're gonna win anyway. I don't see why the color in the jersey makes a difference to you winning or losing. I mean. I wish UCLA beat y'all. I mean, y'all or y'all beat them by 21 points. So that's pretty much a win for a 4 and 18. Uh, I hate USC. I think, like Cowboy TD said, I think they're overrated, and a lot of the sports writers are in love with them. And LSU this year has just been a disappointment. Seven and five. I like the Tigers, I like Brandon LaFell, I like Charles Scott, Jarrett Lee, you have potential, you're only a freshman, I think, no offense, but you try to make too much stuff happen, uh, 
in one play, just take it time at a third time. And if you get the ball in the receiver's hands, they'll do the rest for it. So don't try to force stuff. Uh, Florida, good job in the SEC championship yesterday. Where to beat Bama and give them what they deserve. I mean, alright, correction, what I said yesterday, I said LSU was Alabama stuff this game. I forgot they played Georgia on the road, so I had to give them good job there. Good job, Alabama. But that was week, what, week three or four of the season. And so, uh, Alabama, they'll still be in, like, the Sugar Bowl, probably. But it's not what they wanted. They obviously wanted a national championship. Uh, Florida and Oklahoma, I think, are going to be in the BCS national championship. Uh... Florida would probably, Flor not probably, Florida would beat them. Oklahoma scored 60 points in their last, what, five or six games? Correct me if I'm wrong, but they played good team. They played decent teams, I'll give them that. But they've allowed people to score on them. Missouri's all right. Missouri scored 21, Tech played terrible, and they still scored 21. Oklahoma State scored 41. And, I don't know, I think Florida, Tim Tebow, Percy Harvin will be back, so that's a plus for Florida, but, the Oklahoma's, Oklahoma's defense will not be able to stop. I think Florida is like Texas Tech, with a running quarterback and a more balanced running game, with Percy Harvin catching and running the ball, so... Hopefully, uh, Florida beats them. So, I think it'll be, be a good game. So, y'all should watch it. Uh, leave comments if you want. Alright, dude. Wreck them. Take. Give it a take. Bye.